Hey, what's up everybody? VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are going to go deeper down that rabbit hole than I think we have ever been before. Today we are going to be taking a look at transference, and man, I can't tell you how excited I am for this game. I, You know, I, I cut my teeth back way in the early 90s, uh, playing stuff like the Tex Murphy Adventures and Seventh Guest and Phantasmagoria. So so I've always had a soft spot in my heart for these cinematic style adventures and man from what I've seen of this one I can't wait to give it a look. So alright, let's go. Uh, hello. First, thank you so much for all the invaluable experiences we had while working together. I've taken our research, and the research of the greats and the ancients, and I have found the key. It was right there in front of us the entire time. All it took was the willingness to see it and to use it. And now I have unlocked the door. Sweet. The ability to take an entire cognitive system from this world and breathe it into a perfect virtual space. True one-to-one -one consciousness replication. That's some Black Mirror stuff Be right there, buddy. My family and I will be relocating now. But we look forward to seeing you very soon. Um, I have so much to show you. Okay. Okay, so that was a pretty trippy intro. So, all right, you know, I, in the intro there, I kind of uh, paid mention to Tex Murphy, and I gotta say, the, the graphic style right here kind of reminds me of one of the old Tex Murphy games, so that's pretty freaking cool. All right, so let's see here. Um, we got all sorts of stuff glowing around here. I'm assuming, yeah, I can just pick this stuff up. And nothing there. So, you know, right off the bat, I think my one critique is going to be the movement speed. Uh, the movement speed in this game is like really, really slow. Um, data outside, lobby key dot object. All right, so it looks like we've got to find a key. But yeah, movement speed, horribly slow in this one. Um, I, I have not found any way to run. Now, that being said, at least the developers did give us the option for free locomotion. So very happy with that and also free turning. So thank you, thank you very much. All right, there's our key. So, but you know what? I don't need the free turning because I got the TP cast here and uh, I, I gotta tell you, I love this damn thing. Uh, it's a lot of debate on whether it's worth it or not, but just being able to turn in circles like that and not get caught up in the cord, that, that makes it all the worthwhile. Alright, so let's go through the door here. Alright, sounds cat 01. Um, what do we gotta do here? Uh, some music notes. Um, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Aha! Yeah, I see it. C, D, E. Oh, alright, cool. I didn't have to play the whole thing. Well, I guess not because there's no G. So. Oh, very cool. Man, I'm loving the, the, the graphic style of this game already. Um, very, very, very cool. Oh, oh, hey, little girl. Um, hey, no, what? Hey, you got something behind you. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, so yeah, I forgot this is kind of a horror game. Um, man. Talk about trippy. 
God, this looks good. Why these environments are all wiggling around and shifting and... Hello? Get out of any of these doors. No. So, there's a light switch. Whoa. Okay. So, um, looks like I'm back where I started, but on the other side of the door now. So, all right. That was interesting. Pull the fire alarm. No. Hello? No. Um, um, I'm VR Gamer Dude. Um, I'll save you. Okay. Uh, something's wrong with the lights. I don't need any piano lessons. Um, I don't need a mover. Okay, so we can go upstairs or downstairs. Man, the depth on that looks really good. Um, let's go downstairs. Are you a dream? Well, I mean, you know, some people probably dream about me. I, I don't know. Um, no! What? Okay, what the hell? Uh, the red pixel thing ate me again. And now this guy wants me to take him to a machine. Um... didn't get far downstairs. Let's go upstairs this time. Okay, there's another one of those light switch things. Can I come in? Hello? Hello? Official tenancy termination. Oh, somebody getting evicted. Chinese food. Give me some. Yeah. All right. Give me some cashew chicken. Okay. So nothing upstairs. Where are we supposed to go now? go back downstairs. That thing is going to eat me again. Oh, I can hear it. Now, what the heck? Alright. What am I supposed to do here? I can't go in there. Can't go in there. If I go downstairs, things gonna eat me. If I go upstairs, I can't do anything. So what the heck am I supposed to do? I'll try it again, because I'm dumb. Nope. Okay. So obviously I'm missing something here. Something's wrong with the lights. Yeah, I get that. Oh, yeah, I never pressed this one. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, well, thanks, man. It was my birthday last week. How, how, how nice of you guys to remember. Um, I have no idea how we got here. Um, and it looks like this is just an infinite staircase. It just keeps going. Uh, um, okay. Um, maybe now I can go back downstairs? I don't know.
Oh, hey. The sounds are different. Oh, God, this is spooky. Can I hide in here? Hello? Somebody let me in, please. Oh! Oh, I get it. That's the door knocker for apartment C. Okay, so I bet you anything we gotta take this up and put it on apartment C when we eventually get there because of the horribly slow walking speed in this game. Um, but it's already got a knocker. Oh, wait, shift the environment. So, you know, that, that's kind of cool. I gotta say, that's kind of cool how you have to shift the environments um, for the puddles. Aha! tell me oh well, hey hey little boy where you at hey come back one new message where'd you go you have one new message guys it's mom i'm gonna be a little late today at the studio benny i think you're gonna like the song i'm writing there's a part i'm writing just hey cool right. bring home chicken it goes like Okay, so all sorts of stuff to play with in here. Got some concert tickets. I've got a recorder. A little, a little kid piano, tuning fork. Now, you know, I've noticed that a couple of times so far during the playthrough where all of a sudden I'll lean or I'll, I'll move. Um, so definitely not truly room scale. Yep, I'm just going to test that theory right now. So if I move too far off of center, it seems to shift the environment. So, you know, devs, you might take a look at that. Um, th this would be fantastic. I mean, like this little room right here would match totally with my play space. And, and that would be awesome for me to be able to walk around in this environment. So, you know, giving me a little true room scale here, especially, like I said, with a TP cast, no wires. I mean, I have a tendency to really want to drift and wander now. So, all right, just saying. Okay, so I think we'll play a little bit further into this. Um, definitely don't want to spoil the whole game for those of you who have not played it yet. But man, I gotta tell you, what I'm seeing so far in this game is absolutely incredible. Now, I have heard that the runtime is uh, unfortunately, you know, some people are saying an hour, some people are saying two hours. I've even heard as long as four hours if you really take your time and, you know, pick up every little detail of the game and, exp you know, explore every little nook and cranny. But, uh, you know, overall, I don't care. I, this is just nuts. I mean, this is the high quality VR experiences that I look for. Um, yeah, you know, sure, I can critique a couple of things. The scale seems just a tiny bit off. Uh, you know, the, the walking speed is horrible. But overall, so far, you know, I gotta say, the they're, they're SpectraVision, Ubisoft, you guys, I mean, it, it's nailing it. It's scratching that itch. So, all right, I'm gonna get back on with it here. Shift the environment. Oh, okay. Now we're in an empty apartment. Hi, you've reached Raymond Hayes, Catherine Hayes, and Benjamin Hayes. And Benjamin Hayes, yay! Hayes. You people, you people make me sick. Bueller. 
Mueller. Uh oh, what do we got here? Okay, so we got some sort of machine here and a crystal. Um, hold on, I'll get to you in just a second. I'll see what's behind this door here. Um, okay, empty room, so. Oh, cool effect. Oh, that's cool. 77.78 Hertz. Okay, All right. so let's see. Uh, nope, that one. Happy birthday. Whoa. Definitely got some sort of a backstory unfolding with the uh, scientist and his wife and his son. So very cool. That's locked. All right, I think we can finally go through here to Harmony Labs. Yes, which is right back into the house. need to clean up. And hold on, bud. Uh, I'm coming. You know, just, just hang tight, man. Just hang tight. Sugar rainbows. Sweet. Um, are you trapped in the radio? Oh, cool. Man, cool. Sorry, I'm just, I'm digging. I, it's little, little details like this that I dig when I'm in VR. Okay, so rooms radio mismatched frequency. Oh, I get it. I bet you I have to match the frequencies in both realities here. Come on. Let's see. There we go. Sweet. It's me, Benji, your son. Why won't you answer? Are you mad at me? Is anyone there? Don't go into the light, Benji. This is freaking. All right. So, okay, you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and cap the video here today. I, I, like I said, I don't want to play too far into this for those of you who want to experience it for yourself. But man, I gotta tell you, transference, this is absolutely amazing. So if, if you wanna grab a copy, I am gonna throw a link for this one down in the description. I highly, highly recommend that you check this out. Now, you know, if it is really only an hour or two for 25 bucks, that's a pretty steep proposition. So, you know, I'll leave that one up to you. But I am thoroughly enjoying this game and for me, that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.